today we'll talk about how to make this vivid color smoke effect with Adobe Premiere Pro. First of all, open Adobe Premiere Pro and start a new project. And then type the name of your project and select a location and click OK. And now you have to import the video clips. For that, you can right click on here and click import. I have already downloaded a smoke effect video from YouTube and you can find the link to it from the description below and I have also recorded a video of mine for this project. And now select the video clips and click OK. Now I am going to create a new sequence for this project. For that I am going to right click here and new item and sequence. And here I am going to select default settings as 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels and frame rate as 24 frames per second. If you want to make an Instagram video, you can select 1080 by 1080 instead. And now press enter. And then drag and drop the video file that you have recorded to the timeline. And when you add it, uh, you will get the clip mismatch warning. For that, I'm going to keep existing settings. And now I'm going to scale the video and reposition and also trim the video as I need. And delete audio file of the video file. And now I'm going to slow down the video by right click on it and click on speed duration. And I'm going to decrease as 50% and change the time interpolation as optical flow and click OK. Now I'm going to add smoke effect video on the top of this video. In this video the smoke comes from top to bottom but I need otherwise. To fix that I'm going to go to effects control and change the rotation. Change the rotation by 180 degrees. And then I'm going to adjust the video as I need. Trim the video and adjust the scale and position. And then you're done. And now you have to add the effects to the first video clip. For that, go to effects and search for track matte key. And drag and drop onto the first video and change these settings in the effects control. In the track matte key settings, change composite using matte luma and matte layer as video 3. Now you can see the white area of this mock video covers the below video and gives us a really good effect to the video. Now I'm going to create a nest by right click on both of these clips and click on nest. And I'm going to rename this as main and click on ok. And for the color layer, I'm going to create a new title by right click on here new item and title and rename it as colors and press ok and you will get the title window and now draw a rectangle and in the fill type select four color gradient and select the colors as you need I'm going to select red and green and then something like green and something like uh, violet and then close the title window and drag and drop this title clip into the timeline on the top of this nest and now go into the nest clip by double click on the nest and copy the smoke video and go to the sequence one and paste on the top of this color layer And now we have to add track matte key on the colors layer and change the settings as we have done before. Composite using matte luma and matte layer as video 4. Now we get this cool vivid color effect on our video. And if you want to change the opacity of the colors layer, you can change the opacity here so that you can see the below layer better. And now you can see this sharp edges on the below video to fix that i'm going to go to nest clip and add a mask on the and below clip you can add a mask by simply click on this circle icon and you can adjust the circle by click on these points and you can add the feather to it to remove these sharp edges of the below clip and also you can mess with mask expansion a bit if you want to decrease it, you can decrease and you can change the affecting area of the mask. 
and now I'm going to change the speed of this whole clip. For that, I'm going to select all clips and right click on it and create a nest first. I'm going to rename this as color smoke. And now you get now we get the nest and I'm going to change expand this video layer. Right click on it and go down the menu and show clip keyframes, time remapping and speed. Now we can select the pen tool and click a point add a point by click on it wherever you want i'm going to click on here and select selection tool and expand this and decrease the speed here and in this point i'm going to change this like this so that we get a smooth transition to time remapping i need this to be little bit smoother so that I'm going into this nest add a apply default transition to this nest main nest and shorten a video bit that way the below video disappears before the smoke and now right click on color smokes nest and apply default transition to it as well and now I'm going to add a audio file to the video clip for that I'm going to go to the project right click on it right click here and click import and import the audio file as we have import video clips before now you can double click on the video file choose in and out point of the audio and drag and drop the audio file to the audio layer to mark out you can click on this icon here and click this icon and drag and drop into the audio layer now I'm going to adjust the audio file and sync the audio file boom sound with my video effect and finalize the video and afterwards I'm going to add some glitch effects to the video for the glitch effect I'm going to add a black video to the project for that I'm going to right click on here and new item and add black video I'm going to add two glitch effects to this video first one on the below video and the second one on the whole video for the first glitch open color smoke nest and use razor tool to cut the nest clip like this cut right arrow twice and then cut again and right arrow twice and then cut again and so on and delete these clips one after one so that you get a glitch effect to select the razor tool you can either press C or you can select it in the toolbar and for the selection tool you can use V and for the second glitch go to sequence 1 and add the black video on the top of the nest you can zoom the timeline for better view and select the razor tool using C and using razor tool you can cut the black video as you can see here in here I cut the black video keeping random gaps in between each cut after all these cuts select the selection tool using V and delete some of these clips like this and I'm going to adjust these black video clips as I need and now I'll add apply default transition to beginning of the vi next video and to the audio as well And now I'll add a mark out to the timeline by click on this mark out icon here or by pressing O. And also you can add a mark in in the beginning of the video by pressing this icon or simply press I. Now you can export the video. For that go to file, export, media, 
and you will get the export settings window and select format as h264 and you can change the output name and the location and in here click render at maximum depth and use maximum render quality and select time interpolation as optical flow and click on export